Today we're going to talk about how to make cross-pollinations in the genus Fasciolus, which includes most of your dry beans and green beans. So to start off, we're going to need two plants that we want to use as parents, and the plant that we're going to use as a father should have open flowers that look like this. They should be nice and crisp and not at all yellow. If they're at all yellow or wilty, then that means that they're too old to use, so we don't want that kind of thing. Um, and then on our plant that we're going to use as a mother, we want to have nice full-size buds like this, which are very close to being ready to flower. Uh, we don't want to use anything that's too small. Um, and so then uh, this is actually the flower that we're going to start off with. And so we'll first hold the flower and then use tweezers to break open the petals from the bottom. And go along here and just split it right down the middle and then um, we want to just push those to the sides and then use our fingers to hold them on each side and then we'll pull down on these two petals which are called the wings and that'll make it so that this stigma pops out that could be a little hard to see uh, it's a really small structure but there's a little tiny hook in there um, that just has popped out of this middle um, kind of coiled petal. And so that's what I want to see. So there's just like a little tiny um, stigma that's popped out. So I'm going to set this off to the side and I'm going to go back to our father plant over here. And I said that this was a really nice flower, so I'm going to pull that one off. And uh, then I'm going to do something similar with this flower to what I did to the last one. I'm going to um, push back this main banner Kind of get that out of the way, and then I'm going to pull down on these wings here. And that pops out that stigma, just like on the other one. Since this flower already opened on its own, that's actually already covered in pollen. So we're going to use the pollen that's on this stigma here. We're going to just pull that off, and hopefully you can see now that there's that little hook. And that's that stigma, and if we look super closely, then you'll actually see that there's just a little tiny, tiny bit of pollen on that. Um, so we can go back to our mother plant again. And this, if you look super closely, should not have any pollen on it at all. Uh, if the petals had already opened, then you might see some pollen. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna rub the two together and get the pollen from what, what is the father plant onto this other stigma. And then at the very end, once we've done that, then we want to hook the two together. So we have one stigma that's like this, and then the other stigma, and we just want to link them up at the very end. Um, it can be useful then to potentially use this banner to kind of cover it up a little bit again. Um, probably not, not going to hurt anything. And then we want to take a label like this and make a loop with it. And then we can hook it onto this flower. So now we've made our first cross. And then it can be useful to remove any other flowers. I actually just accidentally knocked off one of the flowers there. But we don't want any other flowers here competing with the cross pollination that we just made for uh, resources and whatnot. So we just want to pull any other surrounding flowers off if there are any right there. Um, and then if the cross was successful, then we should know within a matter of a few days if we start getting a pod forming there. And it's important to remember that the, the seed coat, like the outer part of the seed is actually a part of the mother plant. So even if you make a successful cross pollination, then you'll still see the normal seed color of the mother plant. So if this was a pinto bean, for example, and this one was a black bean, we would still always see a pinto bean um, coming from this pod because that's really just a, an extension of this mother uh, plant here. Um, and so it's not until we plant out the seeds from this pod that will form from that flower um, that we would be able to know for sure if the plant uh, was a successful cross. So hopefully you've learned something. Uh, feel free to let us know if you have any questions or comments.